you could say it all started at the U. That is where Lunani traces much of his success that has happened in his life back to the University of Minnesota. It was the foundation for his entire hockey career, from playing to coaching to the front office. It's where he studied business to find success both on and off the rink. It is where he established lifelong friendships and met his mentor, legendary coach John Mariucci. One of the things he said to me at the time, he said, Louis, if you ever come to school here, you'll never leave, and proved to be prophetic. During his time at Minnesota, Lou married his wife, Francine, and the U is where three of his four children attended college. Lou Nanny was born and raised in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. He crossed the border to attend the U and play for Mariucci. Lou made a name for himself while wearing the M, receiving an All-American nod in 1963, while winning the scoring championship and being named league MVP that same year. Following his collegiate career, he was selected to captain the 1968 U.S. Olympic hockey team. Lou then returned to the state to play for, coach, and serve as general manager and president for the Minnesota North Stars. After leaving the sport of hockey, he applied his business degree he earned while playing for the Golden Gophers and went on to a successful career in the financial industry as a national sales manager at Voyager Asset Management. Throughout all of the achievements and success, Lou has always made it known how grateful he is to the University of Minnesota for providing him the opportunity to wear the maroon and gold while studying for a degree. It is that unending appreciation to the school that has driven Nanny to continue his lifelong support of Golden Gopher Athletics. Since I graduated, I looked not only at the hockey club, which is my favorite, but Gopher Sports and the university itself because it's to me, the most in, in, important institution in, in the state of Minnesota. It's the engine of the state, and uh, sports is a big, big part of it. One of Lou's proudest moments involving University of Minnesota athletics did not happen on the ice. In fact, it was a time of great challenge for the Gophers. In 2002, the announcement of the cutting of three sports teams struck a chord with Nanny. He did not want the opportunity for academics and competition taken away from any athlete representing Minnesota. He became one of the driving forces behind the Save Gopher Sports campaign and even spearheaded the innovative telethon. The campaign was a success and it fills Nanny with satisfaction to see that no athlete has to be left behind at the University of Minnesota. From being a member of the Intercollegiate Advisory Council to his fundraising efforts for Golden Gopher Hockey and the Save Gopher Sports campaign, his commitment to the school has made him a role model throughout the University of Minnesota. I really enjoy watching the people that have come through here, had the opportunity to play here in all sports and, and see how important it is to them. Uh, we look around the country and we see other traditions in other schools like Notre Dame and Michigan and Stanford and uh, Harvard and, and I like to think that uh, in my mind we're the same way. We've, we've got a strong alumni throughout the country. We've proven that with the fundraising that went on over the past few years. We've got a, a great group of athletes that have come through here and made their mark in professional sports and we've got some uh, terrific citizens that have gone to the University of Minnesota. So the M is a major part of it for me, but it's also uh, one part of it because the university is such an important uh, factor in my life. In gratitude for his outstanding generosity, service, and commitment to the University of Minnesota Intercollegiate Athletics Program and its student athletes, we are proud to recognize Louis Lunani with the 2003 Director's Award.